Hi, my name is Ram and welcome to Uploading Files with Vue.js and Express Series. In this first episode, we're going to create our Vue.js application, then we'll implement the file upload form so user can select file to upload and send it to the server. Before we begin, just a quick note that if you don't want to wait for another episode to be published, you can go to the gsfullstack.com and purchase the series as pay what you want model as a way to support my work in this channel. Thanks. Okay, so first what we need to do, we need to create Vue.js application and we're going to do that with the help of excellent, awesome, marvelous Vue CLI package. Let's get down to it. Okay, so here I am in my terminal and the first thing that we need to do is to install Vue CLI and we can do it with simple npm install g to install globally at Vue slash CLI. I already have it installed and I'm using the latest Vue CLI version 3.0. After you install it, we need to create the project itself. We do it with the command view create and then the name of the project. Let's say upload dash view. It will ask us to pick a preset, but we're going to use just the default one because we are not going to use any kind of advanced features. It will take quite a time to install, so I'm going to use the magic of video editing. Okay, the project has been created, so let's cd into our new upload view project and I'm going to open it in my editor. I'm using Sublime in this series, but you can use any editor, of course. Okay, so first of all, let's go to index.html file. It is in public folder here. And here I'm going to include Bulma uh, CDN. These are just two links for the Bulma min CSS on the CDN and also font awesome. And you can find these links on the official web page or just pause and copy this code here. Also, let's go to the source folder and we're going to delete this components folder altogether because we, cannot, we will not use it. And inside of app, I'm just going to delete everything from it and going to create empty component, which consists of template and script. So here is our plan. First of all, we need to create the upload form and when user selects file, we want to save this file inside of this component. Then when user clicks on the submit button and submits the form, we send this file to the server. That's what we're going to do next. So here in the app component, we're just going to have a simple layout. So first of all, I'm going to use this section and inside of the section container. And this Bulma CSS classes that will just create some margins around our content. So inside of here, we'll have the simple upload component. So let's import it. We do not have it yet. So I'm going to import simple upload from simple upload that Vue.js file. And here, of course, we need to add components and we define the simple upload. Great. So now we need to create one and we're going to create it right here. I forgot to add it like this. And we're going to create simple upload.view component. There's going to be simple component for now and here is where our form will reside. So we do not need to have action here because we're going to handle it with the Vue.js. And the first thing that we want to include maybe is the ink type. Every time when we're working with the regular file uploads in our HTML forms, we usually specify in ink type that this form is special. It has the multi-part form data request. So while we do not need to do that with the Vue.js applications, it's still a good thing to include it in our form. Okay, so let's include multi-part slash form dash data. Okay, so here in our form, we'll just have one simple input field. So let's create field div class and instead of it, we'll have label. Let's say for file and we're going to provide class for it as well, label and upload file, very helpful. And here we'll define our input and the input to make it a file input, we just specify type equals file. Done, our form is ready. So let's go to terminal and let's run yarn serve. That will compile and run our Vue.js app. So here is our form, nice. So when user clicks and selects some kind of a file, we want to save this file inside of the components. So I'm going to open the view developer tools here. 
and you can see our components and here's the simple upload and right now it doesn't have any kind of data inside of it so we want to have data file and we want to save this file in this data so let's do this so we back to the sublime and uh, first of all let's define the data that's a function that returns an object and inside of it we'll have file that by default equals to the empty string or null and then we'll need to create methods and let's call it select file so user selects file and this method will be fired when user changes this input field so let's add on change handler and set it to select file so here in this select file we want to set this file that this one to equal to the file that is selected by the user here and we can use refs for it so for that we define this input as the ref and we call it file we can call it any way and anything you want maybe avatar or something like that so now we can access this with this dot refs and the name of the ref file so this input field stores all the file all the files in the files collection so dot files and we take the first one it doesn't matter if you have the multiple files enabled or not you always will have the files collection in your input field so let's save it and let's go back to the browser and have a look so now you can see that in the data we have the file and when we choose file you can see that file now is the JavaScript file object great so now we need to send file to the server so let's go back here for that first of all we need to add button so first of all we create field and inside of this field we'll have the simple button with class button is info just for the styling and we call it send so this by default there's a submit button so it will submit the form so we'll have on submit dot prevent and this prevent just prevents standard form submission and we set it to send file function okay so now we need to define the send file function let's do it right below the select one send file okay so now we're going to make ajax request and for this i will use access library so let's import it from here access from access and of course we need to install it so i'm going back here i will add another open another tab and i just add yarn add access that's one of my favorite libraries i use it in all my projects and i highly recommend it now we just can use access.post and you know send any kind of request to our server so it maybe naive approach would be something like this so we have some kind of api endpoint and then we just pass file as this dot file but that will not work remember like earlier i said that we need to have this multi-part stuff otherwise the file will not be uploaded and when you making the ajax request you need to do the same thing and to do that you need to create form data object so we'll create form data object new form data so this is the javascript form data object and now we can append any kind and any amount of attributes to this object so we'll have form data dot append the first argument is the name so we call it just file and the second one is the value so for example it could be like username ram or something like that in our case we want to attach file so we'll do this dot file so now we can make the request let's say we call it upload and it's instead of this thing here we'll you we'll just pass down form data i'm going to use a sync and await features so let's define this as a sync function and now we can await the result of this access post request and of course when you're using it like this you should enclose it in try catch block so this is what's when everything's going good and we of course need to catch any kind of error and for now we'll just console that log this error later we'll handle errors and we'll display errors from the server okay so now we have it let's have a look in the browser so we have our upload form so now i just send it 
and we go into network here you can see that I made the upload request of course it's not found and you can see that request payload just sends this image PNG file to the server one important thing though is this content type stuff as you can see we have the content type that equals to multi-part form data so Axios is smart enough to know that when we include form data object it assumes that we need to make the multi-part form data request. So this is very important header to include in your request. So if you have some kind of error and you're using other library that do not do that automatically, just make sure that you set this content type header. Okay, so now we have upload form, user can select the file, hit submit and file is sent to the server. That's cool, but look at how ugly it looks. Let's fix it. So this is just the styling stuff. So I'm going to cut this input field. And inside of the field here, first of all, I'm going to define file and it is, is boxed and is primary. Is primary gives it a nice green color. Inside of it, we'll have the label and the label with the class file label. Inside of this label, we'll have everything. We'll have our input field like this. Okay, I'm spoiled by Preacher, but Preacher doesn't work in view, as far as I know. And let's add class to it to be file input. And also any kind of information could be included here as well. So let's define span file dash CTA, call to action. So inside of it, we'll have the icon and label. So let's have the file icon and inside of it, we'll have I with class fast, that's the font awesome icons that we included in the index.html file earlier. Far dash upload. That's the icon and the span file label will be any kind of text. So that's gonna be choose a file. So now let's go back to the browser and here we go. Let's see, it's beautiful, but we have Again, we have a problem. Every time when we change something, we usually have a problem. When I select something from here, I have no idea that it has been selected. So we need to display the file name right here at the bottom. So let's go back and here, right under the file call to action thingy, we'll have another span. And this time we display it only if file, if we have some kind of file selected and the class will be the file name. And inside of it, we'll render file.name. And that should do it. So if you go back and we select file, you can see we have file displayed below the choose a file stuff. Nice, and if we hit send, it sends it. Excellent, so now user is able to select file and send it to the server. The next logical step is of course to implement server-side code. And that's what we're going to do in the next episode. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and if you want to get notified every time when I upload new content, hit the bell icon as well. And if you want to support my work, you can become a patron on the Patreon, or just go to the gsfullstacker.com and purchase one of my series that I publish there. Thank you very much for your time, and I'll see you in the next one.